Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. What causes high cholesterol? Well, the truth is that both diet and genetic factors can factor into raising cholesterol. But here's the thing to know, that 90% of high cholesterol problems are not caused by genetics. They're caused by faulty dietary and lifestyle behaviors. Now, this is contrary to, you know, the way we've been misled in society by drug companies and certain advertisements you've seen, the way that doctors talk about it in many cases. The truth is only 5% of high cholesterol problems are strongly genetic. Then there's another 5% that's sort of in the gray area, a combination of genes and, and, and li lifestyle. But 90% of us can keep our cholesterol down in the ideal range without drugs, to be quite honest with you. That's been proven in the Framingham Heart Study. So in terms of genetic problems, what can go sideways? You can be born with this defect, and this is the, the one that's most critical, that some people on the cells of their body don't have cholesterol receptors. They're called LDL receptors. And if you don't make those LDL receptors, then the cells can't clear cholesterol from the bloodstream. So even if you're on a very low saturated fat and cholesterol diet, cholesterol will still be elevated slowly into your bloodstream and your, body, your cells just can't clear it. So for those people, I can tell you that they need cholesterol lowering drugs. There's no question about it because if they let their cholesterol stay uh, in a really elevated range, the risk of premature death from heart attack and stroke is extremely high. But for most of us, we don't have that genetic defect. So we tend, the people that have high cholesterol for the most part, have high cholesterol because they're eating foods that have too much saturated fat, too many trans fats, and too many deep fried foods, and sometimes foods that just have too much cholesterol to begin with. When you eat saturated fats and trans fats and deep fried foods, they turn on cholesterol production in the liver because in order for those fats to be transported through the body, Cholesterol has to help transport the fat. So you even if you didn't eat a food that has a lot of cholesterol, eating foods with a lot of saturated fat turns cholesterol production on. This is the thing you have to understand. And that, that extra cholesterol, a lot of it will end up being get lodged in the wall of the artery, leading to atherosclerosis. Every mouthful of saturated fat, another layer of plaque builds up in the artery wall that's made primarily out of cholesterol. This is so important to understand. Because cardiovascular disease kills, 40% uh, 40, 40 of all deaths each year are related to heart attack, stroke, and other vascular diseases. And they usually happen way too young in a person's life. Uh, they could have had a much longer functional life, and they end up killing themselves with their knife and fork by eating too much of these foods to raise cholesterol. You can't just rely on statin drugs because they have side effects. And so the, the best thing you can do is to follow the proper diet and lifestyle program. Now this is where I come in because you hear a lot of crazy information from pseudo experts. What I want you to understand is that I've created a, a cholesterol lowering lifestyle program that you can download right here that has the, the best scientific evidence based uh, support to lower cholesterol, and I've done it with so many patients, I know that it works. So you should really download this program immediately and start acting on the strategies. And you'll be shocked to see how low your cholesterol can be, unless you have really strong genetic uh, resistance. Um, now at machinohealth.com, you'll also see my other published research papers uh, and review papers. You'll see videos, footage from my live seminars, other downloads and resources I created to help you lead a long, healthy, functional life, something that we all want. My research articles and my teaching materials are complete with all the scientific references to make sure you're getting only evidence-based information so you know you're on sound scientific footing when you're searching any health or wellness topic on the site. So be sure to make machinohealth.com an ongoing, reliable resource for health and wellness for both you and your family. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you.